Namaste. Namaste. Just you. So, welcome back. We've changed our setup slightly, so I hope you can hear us. If you can just give us a nod that the sound works. <laughs> Running late today. Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really warm here. It's really hot here. And uh, can you hear us? Is it all good? Yes, it works great. Do you have new microphones? Trying something new. Yes, every day. Every day that it's better. Try and get better, yes. Oh, from Uruguay. That's beautiful. Great. All good. Sound working now. That's good. How are you doing? How is life? Love is flowing. <laughs> oh, Francesc. Francesc y Yolanda. Aprendiendo. Estoy aprendiendo español. Español. Muy bien. <laughs> Pero muy despacio. So um, today we felt to just go deep more deeply into the OM sound and uh, the OM sound is like I basically grew up with the sound OM all around me, um, inside of me and all around me because first of all my father was an artist so he had the OM sign as a, as a signature on every, everything that he created there was an OM sign either somewhere hidden, you had to discover it, or, or very big and obvious, beautiful and obvious. And uh, so, so the Om sign was very much part of the, the tapestry in my visual field. And then also, he had me and my sister and my brother say Om each time we put something down on a table or put something down. So that was one of his exercises to have us um, be in the moment, be aware, and also bring sacredness to 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 uh, our daily life. So somehow I feel like I, I've kind of I've been swimming in Om, and now we are all swimming in Om because obviously it's everywhere, and it's maybe you know it's on every T-shirt and on every yoga mat and. And sometimes I wonder if we still see it because it's so everywhere and if we really still uh, take it in. And uh, the OM sign that we see is actually a sign. It's not, it's not um, Sanskrit letters as such. And that w is what the OM is. It's a, it's a uh, sound that cannot be translated. It's a seed sound. But there is a way of writing OM in Sanskrit which actually um, makes it consist out of three sounds and that's the a ah and the u and the m sound which we could pronounce as aum aum and when we take those three sounds apart we have the a ah sound the u sound the m sound every one of these sounds has a different function function and yeah. feeling yeah and different quality totally different quality. So if we just uh, close our eyes just for a moment and just um, make that R sound, just sound, create that R sound together. Uh, so that's the first sound, the first syllable. And the second one. Mm, so I just want to say something about that oh. first one because I like as soon as I make that sound, it's almost difficult not to have a smile on my face. It just feels so ah. It's yeah, like yeah. it's like I, I'm seeing the divine. And what what other sound could I be making than ah? <laughs> you know, it's so uh, expansive and it's so. Um, uh, beyond the physical it feels like it's just uh, you know in it, it fills up the space uh, and ooh, maybe we 
let us make that all sound together. The all sound is like a channel. It it fu it functions as as a channel into the physicality of the body, which is what the m mm sound is. But the oo sound is the channel, so we see it in that way, huh? Mm -hmm. So let's just make that sound and feel it for ourselves. And already, in just the way our lips are and the, and the way the sound are, it already feels like it's kind of condensing. It's kind of um, bundling the sound in a in a more like Matin said, funneled way. Channeled. Channeled. <laughs> <laughs> And now the mmm sound for something completely different. Let's try that. Yeah, this is the sound that is often forgotten when we chant the mantra on. It's, uh, it can easily get to be the end of the O sound. So that mm hardly gets uh, the space to really resonate in the body. So that's what this mm sound is. It's a resonation of the light of the ah sound, and it brings it into the body through the channel, through the funnel, into the body itself. And then when you do the mm, you can use your hands and feel where is it resonating. Where does the sound of light resonate? That's what the om is. Yeah, I could really feel it all the way in my belly yeah. and the R sound I could feel more around the heart area. So it um, might be different for everybody. And uh, so that's the AUM. And you know, it's not over. The AUM is, that's just one part of it. There's another very important part and that's Fourth. the breath. That's the breath, when we take the breath to start another cycle. And they call it the fourth in Sanskrit, which the Sanskrit name is Turiya. And just to be aware of that too, you know, the, the, the recharge, the breath, when we come back to the mm -hmm. beginning of the cycle. So we are aware of all the, the whole journey. Uh, you know, there's, there's again this thing like, oh, which one is the right one? Is Om right or is Aum right? Um, the, way I, uh, the way I see it is that the whole, um, the, the chanting of mantras as our in our human form is always going to be trying to come as close as possible to the divine sounds with the possibilities we have with our human bodies. The divine sounds are the way they are and we with our human bodies we try to um, we try to recreate them or we try to, to mirror good. them or to call back mm. and and it's it's not going to be the same for everybody and it's not going to i don't feel there is like you know that window is so narrow that only if we do it like this way we get through that little tiny <laughs> i feel the window is big and we we uh, and and it's it's a wide open space mm -hmm. and uh, and we we can enter into that space with the sound that we are making that feels good that makes us happy that we can do with our possibilities of our <laughs> human. It's also with the intention, you know, the yes. intention is so important. The intention is the thing. If you're focused on the intention of channeling light into your life, into your body, then it will happen through these sounds. That's basically it, I think. And and, and, and just also being in the moment, like yeah, that's that's the most that's the key that we are as best we can that we are present with every with every aum, with every repetition of the mantra, because that's our lifelong, at least for me, that's my lifelong presence and uh, uh, pr uh, my lifelong practice to be present. And it's also my prayer that my presence will become more, more strong. And uh, so we get another chance each time we chant. <laughs> <laughs> Second chance. So I get hopefully every breath is a second chance. So today, let's let's. Who said that? Who? Who said that? I, I wonder who said that. Um, <laughs> so let's 
do the Aum meditation today with the Aum sound, we really experience each one of these three sounds plus the recharge phase, the, the fourth phase of the breath consciously and we, we honor each and we really feel each part, how it vibrates and resonates in our bodies. Okay, so let's prepare for our daily meditation. Get yourself comfortable, feel your body is, is feeling ready, you're feeling alert, your spine is straight. So we sit with a feeling and with an attitude of intention to contribute to the whole by being in the moment. Take a deep breath, just take a while with rest, coming now to slow down. Now you've had some information, now we're just slowing down, becoming aware of the sounds around us. Have your eyes open. Now is the time to come home. Close your eyes. You have your candle. Maybe your incense. And slowly we are opening to the sacred mantra on. smile. Smile of gratitude. Take a deep breath. Uh.
Just continue the meditation with your eyes closed. Now open your arms for the ah sound. Bring it into the channel and into your body and feeling with your hands where that resonates. Focused and very aware of the mmm. Open your arms. Allow the sound to come in to the channel and into the body. And deep breath, open in the arms. channel and into your body. Deep breath, open in the arms. Into the channel, into the body. Deep breath, open in the arms. Into the channel and into the body. And deep breath, open arms and continue. Second part of our meditation is the Gayatri Mantra.
together we rejoin the mantra on open, close your eyes and be perfectly still in your body. being aware of our connection
across the world, we are sitting in silence together right now. do a, a global worldwide Gayatri where we hear each other singing. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Like yeah. thousands and thousands of us <laughs> singing together all over the world, enjoying each other's voices. That it's gonna come, it's true. Yeah, it's yeah. all coming. You so know, they always tell us that we need such high dose of vitamin C these days because of the immune system strengthening powers of vitamin C and our vitamin C is also connection vitamin connection <laughs> <laughs> yes, because that's true. really uh, really the, the key you know when you feel connected to each other or to you know to um, to the whole to the cosmic existence to the great divine spirit when we feel that connection we are really okay and we're really feeling safe and held and seen and cared for and uh, we know that we we are we, um, we are carried and supported so whatever strengthens that vitamin c however we can take that in this time it's, it's a healing yes and, and uh, you know that it's true the vitamin c of connection use this channel for connection really uh share with each other because that's when we finish we talk to you we see uh, you know we collect the list of songs that you ask for and uh, we need to be connecting with each other as close as possible without obviously we can't physically connect but uh, use the vitamin C for mm -hmm. that and reach out let's establish this beautiful global chant Sangha that we've become over the years. We know you all. We feel like we know every one of you and uh, That's how we feel you see us too. You know us. We have no secrets and uh, And that's the blessing isn't it? That's really the blessing that we can feel There's a connection every time you chant the mantra any sense of isolation just goes out the window you, mm. you, you use the mantras because they're life and death, you know. Deva and I often say that to us, chanting is, is a matter of life and death. It's everything. And uh, it, it, it recharges us, it keeps us alive, it keeps us connected, it keeps us connected with you. It gives us the strength and the energy to continue to travel. It gives us the strength and the energy to be here with you right now, and uh, we treasure it so, so, so well, and, and 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 with great gratitude. Yeah, it's life and death because they, they enhance our life and they prepare us for <laughs> death. Also, yes. you know, they they help us to be able to tune into our eternal nature and and realize that there is no death. That there is only a changing of the of the form. Do you have the do you have the right song for this moment? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> do you do just the right song? I think so. I have no idea what's coming. Do you? There oh. is so much magnificent. are coming in, waves are coming in, there is so much magnificence near the ocean, waves are coming in, waves are coming
Waves are coming in. Waves are coming in. There is so much magnificence near the ocean. Waves are coming in. Waves are coming Waves are coming in, waves of love are coming in. Just have some moments in silence together. It's so beautiful to know we're all sitting in silence at the same time.
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bring them together. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. A prayer for universal peace. Come together. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Blessings. Mm. Namaste.